So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a casting uh, with alginite. Uh, this is dental grade alginite. I got this at the local dental um, supply place. This is a pound of it, or 454 grams anyway. Uh, it's a powdery material substance and it's once it mixes with water it sets incredibly fast and you can use it to make impressions of objects um, in the dental industry obviously it's for teeth the thing about the dental stuff is that it sets incredibly fast and I had tried making it once before but the stuff I had before and I was gonna use it as a video but unfortunately it didn't come out as well as I liked so this is my second attempt at it I'm gonna try to do a casting of my hand and unfortunately it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to and I had broken off some of the fingers and I reattached it but it does for a, a, a proof of concept it seemed to work okay so lessons learned what happened in the previous time was I tried to mix the material without a power mixer because it's such a big amount of it and it started setting way too quick and I wasn't able to get my hand into into the alginite before it set and what ended up happening was there was still some powder that wasn't set and that's why it ended up with like not really great impression here so there's still some of the, the powder here and this finger got all gnarled up so anyways so I'm gonna remelt that wax and then pour it back in uh, so I have a two liter pop bottle and then I have a liter of water which is the amount according to the instructions for this stuff to go for this whole whole container and I'm gonna mix it with a power mixer this time so try not to whip too much air in it of course um, which should get me a good even mix now the directions on this say that mixing time I have 60 seconds so with that power mixer I shouldn't have any problems total working time is 2 minutes and 15 seconds and it says initial set time is 2 minutes and 30 seconds and setting time uh, combine uh, everything together is uh, 3 minutes and 30 seconds um, so that's probably about the time when you can remove your your well in this case my hand um, from the mold so I'm gonna mix it I'm gonna pour this into this to mix it and then I'm gonna dump it in here and then I'm gonna put my hand in it to do the impression itself um, hopefully it comes out so I'm just gonna reset the camera and uh, give this a go also um, it does say in the instructions that the cooler the water the slower the setting time so that does have an effect on the on the setting and the type I have here it's just regular set they have a fast set which is even faster I think it sets like the stuff I had before it sets in a minute and 45 seconds so I had a minute and 45 to mix and do my impression which was incredibly fast for the amount I had to mix so alright so this is second attempt alright I'm gonna dump the alginite in and then I'm gonna put the mixer on and then put my hand in it Now I'm going to plunge my hand in this Hopefully it gets all the way around get it set to where I want it you 
make sure it's not touching any of the edges. That's looking pretty good. Stuff sets quick. Really quick. Managed to make a little bit of a mess, but not too bad. Stuff cleans up easy once it sets, though. Okay, now I'm going to remove it from my impression, with my hand from the impression. This stuff is starting to really get all gummy. And the reason, also I should explain why I didn't mix it in this bottle. This is the only bottle I could find that seemed to work well for making an impression of my hand using the most minimal amount of uh, alginite. I could have used a bag too. Um, but my worry was with that is I was pulling it out because the bag doesn't have as so much structure as the plastic that it might tear the alginite. Um, so the reason why is the first time when I tried mixing it in this bottle, I didn't get all of it mixed because of these little nipples on the bottle, on the bottom of the plastic bottle. That's why I mixed it in a separate container and then poured it in here. Not the ideal situation, um, but it seemed to have worked out. So. All right, now I'm going to try to attempt to remove my hand from this. I think it's set up pretty good. This stuff's pretty set now. Just a little wiggling. There we go. It's loose now. Now I need just to get it through the opening. There we go. One impression of a hand. So now I'm going to just let this set for another minute or two and I'm going to warm up some wax and I'm going to make an impression with the wax or I mean a casting with the wax and uh, I have a waxed hand. Now you can use plaster, you can use some type of setting stone or epoxy or something. The reason why I'm using wax is because I want to be able to make an aluminum casting of this or a metal casting of this eventually. So I'm going to use the lost wax method, but that's, uh, I might do another video on that. But for now, this video is just how to make a wax casting of your, of your hand or a life cast of anything else. But this is how, uh, how to do it for a hand anyway. So now I'm just melting some candle uh, tea lights um, to get the wax out of it to pour into the mold. So I'm just going to let this go for a few minutes until it, there, it's all melted and start uh, pouring it in, pouring it into the uh, into the mold. So I have the wax all melted now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into the mold. I'm going to swirl it around a little bit, not too much, trying to agitate it to get too much air in it, and that'll get a coating. And I'm going to pour it back out into the wax, into the hot wax, and do that a couple times to establish a coat on the inside of the mold. And then I'm going to pour in the wax and then let it set.
And what this does is it helps speed up the uh, cooling of the um, of the wax, or else well, it's going to take a long time anyway to cool because the center of the of the hand of the hand of the mold um, it's going to be pretty thick, so it'll take a little time. So I'm just going to let that set for a minute, and then I'll do it again. So as you can see here even, it's starting to build up a layer of wax. Now that it's getting a nice little coat, I think I'm going to pour it in and just set it aside and let it set. Now it's pretty cold out, so I'm probably going to just stick it outside, or I might just leave it in the cold garage, and then uh, once it's set, I'll uh, take it out of the mold. So the wax is set up. I'm going to cut it out of this container. I'm gonna be careful and peel out the alginite off of the off of the wax. Because this is an a cast with fingers, I wanna be careful how I do this. So, I spent some time picking away at this. Um, I wanted to really take my time because the digits, the fingers, are really delicate. So it took me a while to peel all that out. So I'm going to spend a little more time and dig out the palm here because the stuff is really set in there. So without uh, damaging the fingers, I'm going to just take a little time and dig my way out and I'll come back and show the finished product, the finished uh, cast. 
it uh, looks awesome. The detail, now I know I used white wax, so you might not be able to see it, but the detail that the alginite was able to uh, to keep in the impression is really remarkable. It's really nice. Like when I put it up to my hand, I can see all the spots where there's uh, creases and uh, folds in the skin and stuff. So it looks really great. I'm really happy with that. So that's pretty cool. I got all the alginite off. Uh, I ended up having to soak it in a solution of just water and baking soda. Uh, I let it soak for a couple hours um, because in here the palm is so delicate and in between the fingers here I couldn't get all of the alginite out. Um, I used a dental pick and a toothpick actually um, as well. Um, the dental pick is metal so it had a tendency to, if I wasn't careful, it would dig in. So uh, a toothpick worked really well because uh, it's wood and it, it was less likely to dig into into the wax the, because it's a, a softer material. Um, so once I soaked it, I scrubbed at it with a toothbrush and picked away at it a little bit. Um, just took my time and I got it nice and clean as you can see. And the detailing is really remarkable. Quite impressed with how it came out. Uh, much better than my first attempt. Um, <clears throat> so it's a pretty good reproduction. I won't be a hand model. Um, anyways, next I'm going to, um, well if you're looking just to do a life cast and cast it in wax or plaster then you're done. Uh, I'm going to hopefully, once the weather warms up a bit here, it's winter right now, uh, I'm going to cast this where I'm going to make an, a mold out of this wax hand to do a lost wax cast with uh, plaster of Paris and some aluminum. So I'm going to try to cast this into aluminum now. So I needed to make a, a replica, a, a positive of my hand before I could do that. So that's, uh, that's this here. But other than that, you could just set this up and it would be a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool item on your desk or uh, on your shelf, on the mantle. So the detail came out really nice. So I'm going to just post uh, some pictures at the end of this video uh, up close of some of the detailing that it caught because I'm using white wax. It really didn't, you can't really see it on the camera. Uh, how nice the detailing came out. You can even almost make out fingerprints. So that uh, that alginite did a really nice job. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, post them in the uh, in the comments below. Um, that's kind of my method of how I was able to get it to work. Just reading some tutorials and how uh, how other people did it.